warm greetings to all the dignitaries the organizing committee and dear students this is muskan gupta from indore pursuing bpt before i start my topic i would like to thank the organizing committee for giving me this opportunity to speak on the e platform so my topic is emotional liberation breathing in physiotherapeutic treatments Emotional liberation breathing is a process of liberation of negative thoughts by conscious rhythmic breathing. You must have heard of other kinds of breathings like yogic breathing, pranic breathing and etc. This breathing is different from those in terms of two things. First, uh, this breathing uh, has a different protocol, different technique to do. and second its motive before we get into what is elb we need to understand the model of mind our mind is divided into three parts conscious subconscious and unconscious mind conscious mind has the capacity to focus and it deals with critical and logical thinking it makes long term decisions subconscious mind is where emotions are created emotions like anger guilt Uh, inadequacy self esteem problems mindset mood etc it is not a logical brain and it has a short term thinking it works on short term pleasures unconscious mind whereas manifests all those emotion in our body feelings like anger guilt fear all have a different physical manifestations for example some stomach cramps increased heart rate um, emotions and uh, uh, hormones etc each emotion is felt and translated differently in our body now conscious and subconscious mind work against each other for example smoking is a short term pleasure and long term suffering if someone quits that means he took a decision from logical brain rather short term instant gratification this is conscious mind decision if the same person couldn't or didn't want to quit then subconscious mind who took the decision and conscious mind will try to justify it because the conscious mind wants to believe that the decision begin and ends with it offering logical justifications to illogical situations studies have proved that if we consciously change our facial expression or posture we can change our emotion and even breathe in and breathe out rhythm is an extremely effective exercise a 5 minute quick fix exercise will decrease the emotions and hormones released by 70% but this won't stop the emotion from hitting again and again with all the consequences like emotions might have whether as physical illness unhealthy behaviors addictions etc to overcome this one should go beyond 5 minute quick fix solution and commit 90 minute sessions that will ensure that this negative emotion totally flushes out of your body now breathing pattern really liberates the person from all these negativities number of session varies from case to case it is important to ensure that for maintenance purposes one will always go back to refresh your sessions the reason is that the goal of elb is behavior modification and not controlling an outcome one should be able to not to respond to triggers that could lead him to old behavior so elb is based on this concept elb session is divided into three parts first is initializing emotional change second is phase of resistance and third is finally the liberation phase initializing emotional change starts within 5 to 10 minutes here the patient is advised to strictly follow the deep breathe in breathe outs the breathe in and the breathe out duration should be even and the intensity should also be equal the desired result is that the patient realizes that he is going through some emotional change so the second phase of elb session is phase of resistance in this phase the subconscious and the unconscious mind work together and form the reptilian brain this is the primitive part of the brain and is wired for short term survival reptilian brain does not like change it is a potential danger as it will resist change that is irrelevant to long term and even mid term benefit 
Reptilian brain hates consuming energy unless it's for short term survival. Example, you resist getting up in the morning for gym. You keep on postponing it. One's decision to engage in fitness is a conscious decision imposed on reptilian brain. With time, it becomes a habit. But still, you have a tiny voice in your head to resist that you do not want to go to gym unless it's a decision. Addition. Now that you know it's very hard to change, so back to phase 2, resistance of reptilian brain is complex. Your own body will try to stop you at any cost. Sensations like cramps, pain, numbness will make it hard for you to continue. But guess what? These sensations are the ways reptilian brain adopts to stop you. No matter how hard it is, if you are really and deeply wanting it to change, you can defy it. While resisting, the reptilian brain will try to impose negative emotions on you. But the ELB therapist is very well trained and will share it with you. Around third ELB session, an accurate assessment will be shared with you if you want. This resistance phase will last for 30 minutes. Phase 3 is emotional liberation phase. We call it the emotional vomiting. It's like vomiting your emotions which builds up and up until it leaves your mouth and becomes very unpleasant. Now at this point, resistance will work its hardest and it's always better to continue until vomiting ends. You will feel a big release and liberation. If you are vomiting anger, that means that anger is pushing up in your body, getting stronger and stronger. Then it starts to decrease. The end of the session is most of the time calm, quiet and serene. One last thing, resistance can begin the day before the session in the form of an urge to cancel it. Maybe in the form of physical sensations. These sensations are precious that can indicate patterns and you should share them with your ELB therapist. You know, ELB is an evidence-based practice. I have been taught and guided by Dr. Jad Wahabe, who is an osteopath, stress and emotional management therapist, mind and body specialist. Under his guidance, this technique has been performed on around 15 to 20 people and that has given miraculous results. I would like to conclude on this note that we should use ELB in physiotherapy treatment protocol routine and also where patients deal with psychosomatic disorders and after getting various kinds of treatment protocols, they do not get healed. ELB can be very, very helpful for them. So this was my topic. Thank you for patient listening and um, I hope it was informative. So please comment down your views and doubts regarding this topic.